Ever wondered how a fetal monitor works? Well, it's like a symphony of technology and healthcare, creating a lifeline between medical professionals and the tiny life growing inside a mother's womb. The first step to working with a fetal monitor is setting it up. This involves attaching sensors. For external monitoring, an ultrasound transducer is placed on the mother's abdomen to pick up the fetal heartbeat and a tocodynamometer is attached to measure contractions. Once these are in place, it's essential to ensure the equipment is properly calibrated for accurate readings. Next, the monitor is powered on and settings are adjusted. Parameters such as paper speed, scale, and alarm thresholds are set to meet specific requirements. Once everything is set, it's time to monitor the display. This is where the fetal heart rate and uterine contraction patterns become visible. Interpreting these readings is crucial. A normal fetal heart rate typically falls between 120 and 160 beats per minute. Variability in heart rate is a good sign of a healthy fetus. Meanwhile, the frequency and duration of uterine contractions are also monitored. But what if something goes wrong? Troubleshooting a fetal monitor involves a few steps. First, check all connections, ensuring cables and sensors are properly connected and the transducer is placed correctly. If any alarms go off, respond promptly and check if the fetal heart rate is within the normal range. Sometimes, adjusting the mother's position may improve signal quality. If technical issues persist, don't hesitate to consult the user manual for the specific model or contact the equipment's technical support. But remember, repairs and major maintenance tasks should be performed by qualified biomedical technicians or the manufacturer's service personnel. Regular maintenance checks, cleaning and disinfection should be scheduled according to the manufacturer's recommendations and the healthcare facility protocols. Calibration is another key aspect of maintenance. Calibrate the equipment periodically to maintain accuracy. And don't forget to keep thorough records of any maintenance or repairs performed. Remember, always follow the specific guidelines provided by the manufacturer for the fetal monitor model being used. Involving healthcare professionals and technicians for troubleshooting, repair, and maintenance tasks is crucial. Familiarizing oneself with the institution's policies and protocols regarding the use and maintenance of medical equipment is equally important. So the next time you see a fetal monitor, you'll know the symphony that plays behind the scenes. It's a symphony of technology, healthcare, and most importantly, life.